interest of time, let's get going. Uh, so, uh, my name is Kevin O'Donnell. I'm the CTO and co-founder of BTP. And we're here today to show you, talk a smidge about our company, just to introduce ourselves, and then to talk about what we're doing with uh, Sawtooth and doing for our customers as well. The uh, So a few slides to start with, nothing that tedious, but first, who are we? Uh, a few years ago, we founded BTP. The main uh, goal of BTP is to actually uh, bring to commercial practicality the technologies of distributed ledgers, smart contracts, and information security to business, not just to provide it and uh, sort of develop and go through, but make it practically usable in an everyday context. Uh, very early on, we uh, chose Sawtooth as one of the principal platforms that we do. Uh, Reason for that is actually a, a few different reasons, but uh, one of them actually had to do with the the decent architecture of Sawtooth as it goes through, and then it enabled some of our, our key focuses, which is that we can bring up uh, multiple collaborative parties, really organizations, and that we could actually build upon that and extend the tools uh, to create better functionality for application developers, which is one of our things. To that end, we sort of put together uh, uh, several different sort of combinations of our products. One of the principal ones is Sexton for blockchain. The uh, interesting thing about that is that that's built on, uh, that includes, I should say, uh, controlled distributions of Hyperledger Sawtooth and Hyperledger Bezos built on top of Kubernetes and with our uh, sort of real core value in a lot of ways is the management and distribution platform of the blockchain so you can extend out. Notice the dotted line, the applications, that's where the customers come in. You build your own business on top of it. We're really a middleware company. Um, so let's skip ahead. First thing I really want to show actually is just sort of how everything works in, in practice. Uh, for that, we're going to go and log into Sexton. Sexton is itself a UI platform. It's not a managed service. You install this software on your own site because Distribution is the key. Uh, da, 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 da. Make sure I've got my right password. Oops. One moment. One moment while I deal with demo gods. Password to something I know. Oh, sorry, that's I've got backwards. There we go. Uh, so let me make sure I've got you guys sharing the right things. Do -do -do. In. Oh dear, did I? There we go. Make sure I share the other window. Do, 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 do. There we go. So, this is Sextant logged in. Sextant managed multiple Kubernetes clusters for the purpose of delivering uh, Sawtooth and Bezu uh, blockchains. This demo we're primarily concerned with uh, Sawtooth. And the first iteration is just a straight. Uh, Sawtooth is, oops, wrong cluster, sorry. I want to go into deployments. In the first iteration, we're just doing a plain uh, Sawtooth distribution. Uh, actually, I'll step back one. We provide a number of things uh, and variations on things. This is a vanilla Sawtooth, which we're just going to go and fire and deploy it. There's some easy to use uh, forms to fill out there. There's also a way for us to actually extensively customize things uh, by adding some custom YAML if it, everything draws outside of the lines of what we normally do. Redeploy that. And what this is doing is going out and contacting the Kubernetes cluster, 
deploying some Helm charts and installing it. So now we've got a software network coming up and be and running, uh, the including the REST API and everything like that. One somewhat interesting thing, which I cruised by there, is if I go back and I edit it, the Sawtooth works. Uh, this is all based off of Sawtooth 1.2 or our distribution of Sawtooth 1.2. So there's still external uh, transaction processors. In this case, we're actually distri distributing and putting into the installation uh, an open source uh, transaction processor and therefore transaction family. If you're familiar with Sawtooth, that is uh, made by Consensource, which I think is a target project if I remember right. Uh, and so that's all distributed out and running. Nicely done. What we decide is actually that's a fairly generic solution the, in terms of Sawtooth. What we then do is actually is there value that we can move a little bit further up the stack uh, and be able to do provide better functionality to the users, open up blockchain functionality to a wider audience and so one of the things we've uh, partnered with a company called Tachyon, which uh, creates uh, a number of things, but one of the, the uh, big ones that we really liked out of it is uh, what's called the TFS, or the Tachyon File System, which is a, a network uh, distributed file system based on Sawtooth, storing its data in Sawtooth and uh, auditable on Sawtooth. So you get what amounts to uh, the functionality of something that looks like, uh, in terms of functionality, a fused file system that looks like uh, the way you would mount a NetApp uh, filer. Uh, and so you can go through snapshots and take snapshots over time and things like that. But everything's actually in the blockchain and therefore you auditable over time. In particular, they are targeting, uh, and we like this as well, the uh, any sort of uh, file data that actually needs to be audited for change and very concerned around uh, hacking. One of the typical uh, circumstances that they come is actually storing of logs where there have been hacking attempts where not only was where the systems uh, interfered with, but actually the logs were corrected to hide the fact that they were interfered with. So the initial logging happened, but then the uh, the intruders ended up actually correcting things. And in the case of if those logs are stored on TFS, uh, you have a way to actually go back and see that the logs were actually modified and be able to get back to the original what, what was the case. The other reason we really like this is actually because it presents uh, blockchain and a lot of the key benefits of blockchain sort of auditability, immutability, and time in probably one of the most common file system interfaces, uh, interfaces of all time or most uh, ubiquitous interfaces, which is that of a file system. So in order to use and be able to get the benefits of it, you don't need to know any more than how to drag and drop a folder into it. So let's distribute that. And similarly, it's an example of an application of this type built directly on Sawtooth. It's only on Sawtooth at the, at the moment. Uh, and then provided via Sextant. So let's switch to my little thing here. It's good. Let's share something else. To Sextant, nice and easy. And here. Now, if I go back over to my uh, deployments, or actually over to my clusters, and I take a look at the, the TFS demo cluster which is just a, a Amazon EKS cluster, nothing fancy about it. I'm going to edit this as it goes. This is TFS in particular, which has a lot of, reduces some of the options that we present uh, straight off the bat because TFS really only supports a certain set of things in terms of sawtooth configuration. We redeploy that. And let that go. Let that sit for a minute. Well, that's going. And one of the things you'll notice is, give it a second. Oops. This is, actually, let's also tear down this guy. Nope, not that one. Not this one torn down. Keep my thing safe. And we'll let that come up in a second. That's these are as it comes through. Let's actually kick that to improve it. These are not really three different clusters. It's actually the same cluster duplicated. So let's undeploy this guy. Very quickly. And let's bring it back in. 
That should look much better now. Okay, there we go. One of the interesting things that we provide is actually on a given application uh, for things that we support in Sexton. As you'll notice, we have this extra little gear icon, uh, which will pull up. And this is actually how we go. And we connect into Tachyon itself, which is this is actually a command that actually can connect you to the uh, Tachyon file system directly. This is via Docker, normally for a hosted image. You guys want to pull that up directly in the operating system rather than going through Docker. Key management, Tachyon can uh, maintain encryption on everything in there, volume, snapshot, et cetera. And so that's a whole management level inside of Tachyon. So in here, this is volumes. These are going through. I, have to, I haven't created any volumes, so that's the problem there. So now, moving in, let's go to the next step. So back to presentation. Do, 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 do. Then finally, uh, at least for the purposes of this demo, there's more stuff involved uh, in Sextant and BTP land. But we have a very strong partnership with a company called Digital Asset, which you may have hear, heard. And one of the things that they produce is a smart contract language called DAML. Uh, so DAML is a uh, higher level workflow oriented language based on a declarative functional style syntax, Haskell, if you're uh, similar to Haskell, if you're familiar with it. It's also very different from Haskell if you're very familiar with Haskell, but uh, a lot of things in, in uh, going on there. Uh, so this is sort of in a uh, kind of a direct replacement for if you're in the Ethereum world for Solidity. We also actually have Daml on Bezu, but in this case, again, talking about Saw Sawtooth. Uh, and that pulls us up more into the smart contract world. So rather than building directly on Sawtooth, you're going to build your applications in Daml and with those uh, tools and related issues. And so that's very generic. One of the advantages of DAML is that it works cross platform. So you can go from onto um, Postgres into Sawtooth into Bezu. We of course like everybody to work in Sawtooth just because that gives you the higher level of immutability and long, long term history of the contracts and also the bigger collaboration and not necessarily needing to trust one centralized party. Let's jump back over to Sextant. Do, 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 do. And this time I'm going to remember to do this. Notice that we control everything as we go through here. Do, 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 do. And finally, we have demo and sauces. Give it a second to deploy that. But again, series of things, more restricted informations on. Daml on Sawtooth, we only uh, support three of the things. If you're familiar with Sawtooth, you're familiar with uh, Poet. We don't support that on Daml. Daml requires a non-forking protocol. Uh, and so therefore, we only support three. But other than that, there's a bunch of different options for tuning the way that Daml actually works. But let me throw that out. And similarly, just like the vanilla sawtooth, the TFS sawtooth, and the uh, and any of the other installations we have, we deploy it in exactly the same way. So one of the general things to is we take the the same strategy on every single thing that we deploy. So we're able to actually extend our uh, always having to do with blockchain related stuff and supporting tools having to do with blockchains and distributed letter. These other ones that you see that we deploy, not all of them are actually available in our commercial product. This is our engineering one, which is sort of contains everything we do. Uh, we have a series of different additions, but they're all meant to support uh, running distributed ledgers in one form or another. The, with that, let's go over to what we're talking about in actual customers, which is a common topic. So recently, uh, and it's just an example for us right now, is we are going to production, uh, literally as we speak right now, uh, sort of declared to go last week and should be done by this week, uh, is the Demex group. The Demex group uses a demo on Sawtooth deployment underneath their application that marks off their, I think it's their contracts, their actual contracts and issuances for uh, risk products that are based on climate change. 
And so they mark that off and they're a smart bunch, uh, but they use our platform, our, our version of Sawtooth and Sexton deploying it in, uh, basically wiping out an entire area of, of work they would have to do on their own, but then using uh, and getting all the benefits of Sawtooth as they go through. Uh, pretty interesting stuff. So that's how we go on time. Oh, I'm to time. So uh, just a quick thousand mile overview on any one of these things. I'm happy to take questions on anything more detailed if you want, but we are at the, the 22 mark. Uh, so I uh, hope you found all found that interesting. Okay. Thank you. I don't quite know. Yeah. There we go. Thank you. Thank you for attending. Bye-bye.